All right, everybody. I'm before I start my little intro. I want to make sure this is streaming first because this is the first time I've streamed a live event. Awesome. Okay, it looks like it is working. And now I can hear myself with an event. echo. One second. Sweet. All right. So basically, we are going to be choosing the very first design course, or not design course, but my God, Corsetro.com design challenge uh, winner. And we had 129 entries, a ton more than I thought we were going to get, which is a good thing. And let me minimize this. I see myself talking in this video real quickly. All right. And yeah, we had, well, I won't say, well, we had a ton of, you know, subpar entries because there's a lot of beginners here. Uh, and then we had, you know, probably about 25% were pretty good. All right. And then we had just a, a handful that were really good. Uh, so again, the winner is going to be receiving just $50 for your PayPal or whatever method that person or that we can come up with and just free access to our single paid course. Okay, so what I wanna do now is just switch over to my desktop, make sure that works correctly, there we go. And okay, so here we go, I ended just an hour ago. Again, 129 entries and 96 users, not too bad. And I also just integrated the ability to sort these by the newest, oldest, highest rating and lowest rating. So right now by default, I have this on highest rating. And so I, I just want to preface this by saying I, uh, the top, I would say 10, almost to 15 were very, very close. I, uh, the top five, almost indistinguishable in terms of, uh, the grading. Now I know I, uh, this person, they got the 84%, 82%, 80%, 78, and 78. There's only, you know, four to six per percent uh, of a difference in terms of percentages. But to me, they're almost all pretty equal. So choosing one, it sucks. I don't want to have to do it, but I have to do it. Uh, and so I'm just going to give some of my thoughts about maybe the first 10 entries, and then I'll choose the winner. Uh, so, you know, this guy was rated the highest. Doesn't necessarily mean he's going to win, though. Uh, I can say that about the top five. Um, so looking at this, this is one of the, the, the initial entries, one of the first entries on the first day, and I really liked it. I uh, simplicity definitely has it. I'm um, looking at the relevance factor. We have a hamburger. That's pretty sweet. Uh, obviously accurate. We have uniqueness, you know, the hamburger with the two dots in the middle is pretty unique. Versatility is, is very good. There's nothing that's too small. That's going to get lost when it's scaled down and color and contrast. I, you know, probably that's where it's lacking the most, uh, but not much. There's still really good contrast. And then coming down here, this is a good entry as well. I liked it a lot. Obviously, it's right at the top. Simplicity, again, all the same things can be said about this one up here in terms of simplicity. Uh, very unique concept. I probably should have rated the uniqueness just a tad bit higher just because it's a, um, you know, like a, one of those fancy dinner plates with a platter or whatever but also at the same time it serves as the uh the bot of sorts so this one very good this one i really liked the concept of having you know your fork over here a dinner plate and then over here however it also worked in very uniquely and works well is this little message icon and the the biggest part that i didn't necessarily like was i how big this was in relation to the, the size of the text. Plus it's all kind of separated out because there's three different objects, a part of the single symbol. Other than that, I really like it. Um, coming down here, uh, everything is spot on for this. Maybe not for, in terms of color and contrast. This is, uh, it doesn't really contrast a lot because this doesn't appear white, but everything is spot on. I'd say the only area that was lacking probably would be the uniqueness factor. Um, you know, we, we have a fork, we have a message icon. Still, everything else is very well designed. Um, coming down here, I really, really like this one as well. Uh, 
And uh, I'm not going to read their comments, but uh, I noticed they did not mention anything in terms of trying to symbolize like a stethoscope, which to me, I see a stethoscope, stethoscope here uh, because we have like the part you put in your ear, uh, but it also serves as a heart, obviously. And also the bot thing is taken care of. The only minor grip it has, this is pretty large, the symbol in relation to the size of the word mark. But all in all, really like this concept. And normally I wouldn't like how the colors were applied here. I'm looking over here, making sure everything's going well. And, but I do like how they uh, really integrate it seamlessly. Works well, in my opinion. Um, coming down here, this one, very kind of a cutesy sort of uh, concept with the egg, the yolk here, and then just a, you know, a tiny little um, sort of message blip down there. Uh, I'm not sure if their intention was to be um, so loose with this, but I still kind of liked it anyhow. Good entry. Um, coming down here, I like this entry a lot in terms of simplicity and uh, the concept. A uh, very unique concept, kind of like the, uh, what was that robot from that famous movie? I forget the damn movie's name, but but whatever. I I like that. The only thing I didn't like was two two different aspects. Everything is too thin. I mean, if you really scaled this down as it is real small, I mean, it would be really skinny lines um, or thin weight. Um, and then also the, the, the proportionality um, and, and distance between the letter or the word mark and the, the symbol itself. I think if we scaled down just a bit, this right up here, kind of separated a little bit more, it would stand out just a bit more, but I really like it. Good job. Over here, uh, now we're getting a little bit more of a separation between the entries up here. Um, I like this a lot uh, in terms of design aesthetics, very well put together. Um, the concept is good as well. Um, it's definitely relevant. Color and contrast is good. I uh, also the type in relation to the symbol itself is good. Uh, it's consistent because you have these nice smooth sort of corners as well and up here and they match well. The only thing I didn't like is it just gets a little bit too complex. You know, we have the handles over here. We have these three blips up here, just a little bit too much, but very good. Otherwise, same thing over here. We have, uh, um, you know, very good entry. I like the color simplicity versatility uh, I'm not I don't like necessarily the, the the hand coming off to the side uh, especially given you know it starts up here it ends down here a little bit kind of disconnected in a way um, but still very solid entry and the last one I'll review is this one right here um, you know I definitely don't like the color and contrast with the gray and the white but not a big deal um, in my comments up here I uh, big issue I wouldn't even say it's a big issue. Um, it's just the relevance category because brain is usually seen as logic, not necessarily health. And that's it. I, we had a lot of really good entries though down here. Um, this could easily have been up there and rated higher possibly. Um, this as well. I, but I can't go through all these. It's going to get too long. So uh, yeah, Johnny Five uh, or Wally. Awesome. All right. Uh, so a lot of these are really good. We have nine pages. I. Uh, before I announce the winner, um, let's look at some of the lowest rated. <laughs> All right, so coming down here, this guy, this guy wins as the uh, the biggest loser concept. <laughs> uh, obviously, this is a joke, I assume. Very good. This over here, yeah, you know, more like a, a uh, it's kind of like a, a graphic or definitely not a logo up here. I uh, but yeah. So these are the people that you know could really stand to benefit, obviously, by sorting by the highest rating, and just taking a look at my comments, how I judge them, uh, as well as these video reviews as well. So, cool stuff. Okay, so again, it came down really to the top five entries. So, I what I did was I went into Photoshop and I took those top five and I put them side by side to kind of better help me arrive at a conclusion. Again, any of these could win. Don't get pissed off if yours is up here and you you don't win. You know, someone has to win. It's just I have the crappy job of choosing it. Um, but looking at these, and I think also in the future, I'm going to make it so, you know, don't, you know, everybody has to use the same color background because this kind of makes it a little bit more difficult when there are different backgrounds. Uh, probably to say everybody use a white background in the future. Um, but ignoring that, uh, just looking at how well these scale down and kind of what just catches your eye. Um, the one that I think does the best in terms of scalability is probably
probably this one right here. Again, there's not much difference between many of these. Um, so I really like this one. And also in terms of just raw uniqueness, I, in terms of how they put the concept together and all the various elements, I, you know, we have food illustrations here, all, all four of these. And of course, there's been many other entries that didn't illustrate food at all. I, but I really like this one. I just, I overall, just by a tad bit more. So the user who submitted this concept uh, is the winner of the very first Corsetro.com design challenge. So what I need to do over here is click on make winner. And now did it even refresh? The fuck is going on here? All right. Winner winning entry right here. All right. So again, guys, uh, yeah, don't get mad that if I <laughs> rated your entry terribly, terribly, or you didn't win or whatever, we're gonna have a lot more of these. And I uh, let me just switch back to speaking to you directly. I uh, very shortly after I make a few more adjustments to the design challenge system, uh, we're going to have multiple simultaneous uh, design challenges. So I build it so that we could have, you know, as many as we want, but I'll probably just stick to two or three at a time. And that way it gives people more of a, of a chance to, to work more on multiple things at the same time. Um, so having said that, the next entry uh, will be very shortly. Maybe I'll announce it in the next couple days. And that time, this one's not going to be a logo design, this next entry. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be. Probably something like uh, an app launcher icon for you know mobile apps. Something you know very simple. It doesn't take a ton of time to do. You know, again, like a logo, um, or something like a UI element, a custom UI element of sorts. I uh, so if you have ideas, submit them uh, on the YouTube channel in the comments and let me know. And yeah, so in a couple of days, I'll announce the next one. I'll also be uh, inter integrating more features with the, uh, within the system. For example, when I rate your entry, I'll make it email you uh, so you don't have to find it. Uh, and also when you log in, it'll show you like a quick you know version of where your entries are so you don't have to scroll through all these damn pages. Yeah, and that's that. Okay, also coding challenges, gonna be developing that soon. So if you're interested in coding, learning how to code, uh, I know a lot of you come from Viv's you know, Slide Nerds channel. You're all coders. You're going to be able to uh, work, submit uh, on interesting design or not or coding challenges, and, and Viv's will be kind of controlling that and, and judging that as well. We have to come up with a really good concept because obviously design and coding, two different things. But anyhow, I that is it. All right. Uh, hopefully. You guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any any comments again, and I will talk to you guys later. And let me find.